The First Coast Cultural Center is celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month by featuring three Latino master artists. Maricela Quiros is one of those artists. She's a member of the nonprofit and a classical realist painter. She's joining us live this morning and some spectacular art that we are seeing right there on our screen. How incredible is this to be able to take part in Hispanic Heritage by showing off some of your work as well as some of your other friends' work? Oh, thank you. First of all, thank you so much for having me. And it's such an honor to be here representing Latin America and the Hispanic Month. It's a big honor. So Latin America is all about art and culture and just things that really, you know, catch your eyes and and grip your senses. And certainly you are doing your part by lining the halls at the Cultural Center with your work. Tell me what your inspiration is. Well, my inspiration is, of course, my lived experiences. And as a Latino that it's an immigrant here to the United States, I use nature and the people to inspire my work. And so I do like a juxtaposition of the different environments and cultural norms that I've lived through in my life in different places I've lived at. And um, and also, as any immigrant will tell you, you're always remembering and also very excited about what's in the future. So I always have a little bit of um, of like fruit or people from from Latin America, but also here from the U.S. And so I like to mix those. Yeah. So you blend it together. I was looking at your history. You were born in Costa Rica. You came to the United States to study oil painting, and your work has been showcased literally all over the world, specifically at the Embassy of Costa Rica in Washington, D.C. What was that moment like? Oh, my goodness. I was so, it was such an honor. I was, well, I I um, learned academic realism in Baltimore in, a, in Zoll Studio in a classical atelier, and being close to Washington, I had the opportunity. I was invited to to show my work in the embassy. And it was such a beautiful experience, just such an honor being there there at the capital city in Washington. So it was a a nice opportunity. Yeah, I I was close. I had my friends there and the family. Yes. What an honor. Let's talk about how people can go out and, and see your art in person right here in Northeast Florida without having to travel to see it. Tell me about this exhibition. Well, um, it's going to be in the First Coast Cultural Center. Also, you can al- you can also always go to my Instagram account or to my website to, to see my work and to the Cultural Center's website to see the other um, artists' work. So, so yeah, the um, the information is there at their at their website, and I'm really really um, thankful for them, uh, with them for the opportunity. I also teach at the cultural center uh, in the realist fashion, which sometimes it's hard to find people that will teach you. So um, I'm starting a class in this winter and also I monitor an open life um, group uh, once a month. So it's very inexpensive. So if you just want to show up and draw with us, it would be wonderful. Awesome. Well, thank you, Maricela. Mucho gusto. And, ah, um, muchas gracias. <laughs> and you can see her work at the upcoming exhibit, all of the details on our website, newsforjacks.com, as well as her website, maricelaquiros.com. You can also see photographer Eloy Castro Verde's work on display at the First Coast Cultural Center next month. A pop-up display for the Cuban native who now lives in Ponte Vedra will run through November 15th until November 19th. So truly some incredible opportunities to get out there and support the arts, specifically the Hispanic arts here in our community.